I'm Kendra Marchini, a senior at Grand Valley State University studying computer engineering. I'm going to show you a computer game that I created for one of my engineering classes. Now it's not a fancy computer game, but it was still a lot of fun to make. So this is the mouse maze. Um, in this game, you're a mouse and the goal is to locate all the cheese and to eat it. Pretty straightforward. So this first message tells us to wander around looking for cheese. And so we can use these directional buttons to move around. So let's go north. We move north. So you can't actually see the mouse moving, but we have these messages that will print to tell us where the mouse is at. Then let's move west. Let's move more west. And south. Oh, we found some cheese. So when you find some cheese, we should pick it up. So then we pick up the cheese, and it lets us know that right here. Now let's eat the cheese. Yum, you ate some tasty cheese. All right, and so then you can just keep looking around for more cheese until you find it all. Now let's say uh, you want to eat something else like ice cream. Oh, you cannot eat ice cream, you can only eat cheese. So this right here, you're able to type in whatever you want, but the way I have this game set up is that it only allows the mouse to eat cheese. And so you can type in anything you want in here and it will not work. And so it's a lot of fun. There's more functions to this game, but I'm just gonna show you these few. So let's look over at the code. So there's really two files that make up this game. Um, one's a GUI, which is a graphical user interface. And then this one right here, the mouse game.java, this is the actual um, setup of the game. So here we can see some of the messages that we saw in that window. There's the welcome message. And then, for example, when we click the eat button, we come into this function right here. And so we saw that message, you cannot eat word, you can only eat cheese. And this word for us was ice cream and cake. And so what this does is that any word that we type into that box is set to this variable, which is a string, which is kind of like its own message. And then that message, or what we typed in, gets placed right in here to say you cannot eat ice cream, you cannot eat cake, and whatnot. And then if we jump over to the graphical user interface, this is where I have all the buttons um, for the game and how the game was set up. So down here is where we place the buttons in the frame and how everything is set up and looking. So if you're interested in this kind of stuff, definitely check out this website called scratchmitedu, and you can create your own, like, little uh, codes. It's great for kids. This is scratch.mit.edu. Um, so it's a fun tool for kids to create their own stories, kind of like motion movies, and also programs. And so you can use a variety of motions for this. Um, they can, the cat can meow, it can say hi, really anything um, a kid can imagine this can probably do. And it's a lot of fun and a great tool to use for kids to get started with programming. Um, so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon.